Hi, everybody. I'm back. Um, today, we're going to do a story together. So uh, in our unique learning for this month, what we're supposed to be learning about is uh, money and what we what money means. Like we hear people talking about money. We count money every morning. We do it. You know, we we use money. We know that mom and dad spend money. They talk about money and what things that they have to spend money on and that costs too much and that costs this much and that much and all these things. So we're going to start learning um, about money and we're going to start doing that today by um, reading a story. It's a very simple story to begin to think about money and we'll talk more about this um, as April progresses. All right, so let me first make myself small. And boop. Oh, there I am. Okay, <clears throat> so the story is called, now you know we can have somebody else read these stories, but I think my, I'm way more interesting than these people. So I'm going to read the story to you, and then we're going to talk about it, and then we're going to answer some questions. And that's it. So let's do it. All right, so the story is called work to earn money work to earn money say it with me ready go work to earn money good so um, people work to earn money so work we know what work is people do different jobs right they go somewhere and they do that so that they can earn that means make bring in some money Good. I also do my job because I love it, because it's awesome. But the money's okay. All right. So let's read the story. Ready? Um, I want you to follow along with me. If you want to, you know, just use your eyes, that's fine. If you want to come up close and touch the screen, you can touch the screen while you do it. I think depends on what kind of screen you have. It might mess it up, but. Um, you can follow with your finger and follow the words. I want you to practice it, and we'll do this this week, and by the end of the week, you're going to be awesome at reading this story. Okay, ready? Here we go. Kale wants to buy a new basketball. Hi, Kale. It costs money. Kale needs to earn money. Hmm. How can Kale earn money? He's just a kid. Well, let's see. Is there a way? Kale can work to earn money. Kale dries dishes. Kale rakes leaves. Oh, look, somebody's paying him. See the money? So he's working and somebody's paying him. Kale has money now. He can buy a basketball. Oh, so when you want something, you work, and you can earn some money, and then you can buy it if, it if it's something that costs money. All right, here's somebody else. Let's see. Michelle wants to buy new colored pencils. They cost money. Michelle needs to earn money. Hmm. How is she going to earn money? Michelle can work to earn money. Michelle makes her bed. Michelle dusts the table. Michelle has money now. <clears throat> she can buy the colored pencils. So some people's parents <clears throat> may not pay them to do jobs. Sometimes you just have to do your chores and you have things that you're supposed to do around the house. But you could talk to your parents about if you maybe can earn a little bit of money by doing some extra work. And then, then you have the money to buy something that you want. If you have something that you want that costs money, you can talk to your parents about it and see what they say. All right, who's next? Carla. Carla wants to buy new earrings. They cost money. Carla needs to earn money. Carla can work to earn 
money. Carla folds clothes. Carla washes dishes. Carla has money now. Carla can buy the earrings <clears throat> with her money. She can use her money to buy the earrings. All right, here's Ned. Let's see what Ned wants. <clears throat> Ned wants to buy a new video game. It costs money. Ned needs to earn money. Ned can work to earn money. Ned picks up sticks in the yard. Ned takes out the trash. Ned has money now. He can buy the video game. <clears throat> we can earn money. We can spend money. Spending money is when you use the money to buy something. That's called spending money. You spend money when you buy something or when you pay for something. Very good. And the end. All right, so let's try some questions. Well, first let's do some sentences. See if we can do some sentences about this story. So on the left side over here, we have things that you can do. These are called verbs, okay? On the left side, these pink ones, these are verbs, things that you do or actions, okay? And over here, we have nouns, people, places, and things. So these are all things. They're not actions, they're just things. Okay, so let's see if we can make a couple sentences using these words. This is called our core board. I know we've used these, um, sometimes we use these in school, so let's practice doing it now. So, I'm going to do a couple sentences here. So, Kale wants, you're going to watch my arrow, Kale wants to buy a basketball. There's one sentence, ready? Here's another one. The basketball costs money. Kale can work to earn money, right? Then Kale will have money to buy the basketball. Good. Let's see if I can remember what any of these other people wanted to do. <laughs> what did Michelle want? Oh, Carla wanted earrings. I remember that one. So let's do Carla. Ready? Carla wants to buy earrings. Carla can work to earn money. After Carla earns money, let's see, after Carla earns money, she can buy the earrings that she wants. There you go. Nice job. If you guys want to Anytime you want, if you you want to reread this story, or if you want to pause it and make your own sentences now, you can do that with all these uh, pictures. Let me hold still here for a minute so this thing on the bottom goes away. I'm going to make, hold, make my, keep my cursor still. There you go. So that goes away. You can pause it, and you can make, uh, make your own sentences about the story. Very good. Now we have one more thing. Let's see, how do I get there? Is it here? Nope. Is it here? Wait. Huh. How do I get to the next step? I know there's a way to do it. Hang on a minute. No, nope, that's not where I want to be. I want to be here, but I want to change the page. How do I go to the next page here? Is this blocking my way? 
No. Next page. Okay, we'll go to the next page. We'll try it this way. Huh. There it is. Okay, here we go. Ready? Sorry. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about some questions. So the first question is, number one, read along with me. Ready? Follow my arrow. What does Kale want to do? Does he want to buy a basketball, eat lunch, or fly a kite? What does Kale want to do? You can point to it. You can call it out. You can say, yell out your answer. You can raise your hand, but I'm not going to be able to see you, so I'm sorry. I can't call on you. But you go ahead, go ahead and say what your answer is. And did you say buy a basketball? Very good. That's right. Kale wants to buy a basketball. All right. Number two. Ready? Read along with me. What does Michelle need to buy colored pencils? What does Michelle need to buy colored pencils? Well, colored pencils cost money, so she needs money. Is it tickets or paper that she needs? No, it's money that she needs. Money is the correct answer. What happens if I click on this? Eh, nothing. Okay, good. All right, very good. So uh, she needs money to buy the colored pencils. So number three, what can Carla do to earn money? What can she do? She can work to earn money, read to earn money, or sing to earn money. What can she do? She can, that's right, work to earn money. Not many people get paid to read. I get paid to sing on Fridays, actually. <laughs> that's my job. I do that sing-along like it's my job. All right, but yes, Carla can work to earn money. <clears throat> Uh-oh. And we're not going to be able to go back to the story. Who remembers? Okay. What kind of work does Carla do? What kind of work does Carla do? So we can't really go back into the story because it's very awkward. Does she play ball? Well, that's not even work, is it? That's not work. Does she wash dishes? Or does she pick up sticks? Pick up sticks. I remember, I can't remember, we can't go back into the story. Usually this would be a good time to go back into the story, but it's kind of awkward in this format. So let's do this. I remember that the person who picked up sticks, I remember that that was a boy. So that wasn't Carla. So if it's not play ball and it's not pick up sticks, then it must be the other answer, which is what? Wash dishes. Very good. Thank you. Nice job. All right, we have one more question here, number five. What is one way we can get money? What is one way we can get money? Earn it, cut it, <laughs> or lose it. How can we earn, whoops, how can we get money? <laughs> We can get money, we can earn it, we can cut it, or we can lose it. Those two don't even make sense. What do we get? How do we get money? We earn it. We work for it. We do something so that we deserve some money. We get some money for doing something. Very nice. So earn it was the correct answer there. All right, let's see if there is anything else. There might be, these are all the same questions. Yeah, that's, these are all cut out things, and we can't do those. Okay, so, yep, very good. That's it. Hey, I'm going to make myself big again. Hey, it was nice reading with you. I missed that. We're going to start doing this more often. So, today's Tuesday. Usually, we, take, we read our story every day, and then by the end of the week, you're ready to read it yourself, right? So I want you to practice this story every day. Today's already Tuesday, so we're behind a day. But 
practice it today, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, and then Thursday. And then on Friday, maybe you can read it to somebody in your family there. Okay? Or maybe when we when I zoom you or text or FaceTime with you this week, you can read it to me if you feel like you're ready. That would be cool. All right. I miss you all very much. And be awesome. Keep on reading. Read some of those books that are in the library for unique learning. There are great books in there for you, and they're all, I set them at your level. So check them out. If you don't remember how to get there, if you need help with that, tell your parent or guardian or somebody to reach out, text me, and we'll figure it out together. All right. Bye, everybody. I love you.